two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm Maury. And welcome back to Last Window. We're gonna listen to a sex tape. I mean, a tape. About sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Wait. Four, four. <laughs> you ever just like. Dorothy! Ah, ah, I love you! <laughs> who's Dor <laughs> Who's Dorothy? And we go up to him and he's like, Who's Dorothy? That's not a room. That says vacant. I don't think we got kicked out. Get out of my, get out of my apartment. It's like that one scene in Marvel Spider-Man when he just comes back home and it's just fucking everything is gone. <laughs> oh God. Probably the answering machine. And all he cares about is his goober. Yeah. There's an answer phone hooked up. Makes me feel as guilty about ignoring calls. Uh, do we have to take it out and put it in? Uh, it's an alarm clock, it's a flip clock style display. Gets me up every time. Alright, we're gonna use Frank's tape. On this little one. I'll play Frank's tape on my answer phone. Alright, this Another is gonna puzzle. be the hardest puzzle in all of existence. Gotta take gotta take my own tape out first. Okay, I'm a millennial. I don't know how tape recorders work. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a millennial. I don't know. I don't know if we're millennial or Gen Z. I really don't know. Yes. Thank you for giving me that obvious direction. I put the golden tape. Oh, it's like fucking Louis thing where I had to fucking pick which side. Well, I'll mm -hmm. pick side A. Let's see what this thing says. We're going to rewind it manually too, so. Yeah. You have to press the button. Do I have to press it? Yes. <laughs> Did we just break it? Damn! <gasps> oh, we broke it. Uh oh. Hmm. Uh, <gasps> Fuck you! I broke the tape. You wow. damn, that's gone and done it. How the hell am I gonna explain this to Frank? You don't, yeah, just say that Tony broke it, you idiot. <laughs> Obviously, who are they gonna believe? Tony, I wasn't supposed to rewind <laughs> it that much, man. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> Fuck Just give you. him your tape. Just paint it gold. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it to him. Uh, we, have to we, to we have to walk all the way to our room. Tony locked us in here. God, we gotta. Our speed run's ruined. We gotta reset. <laughs> what, we have to what, a, what a unique choice. They died here so that they could reset the game. So that they can go there actually faster. <gasps> that makes sense. That makes sense. Have you ever have you ever seen like uh, no. de developers uh, do like uh, they, like they watch like speedruns and shit? It's very interesting because like they they like they, they make a lot of comments on like people like doing the same thing that they do for playtesting. Hmm. I remember watching there was like a Shovel Knight speedrun at a GDQ and they had the developer of Shovel Knight there, mm -hmm. like on the couch commentating. Mm -hmm. Literally saying like, yeah, we built this game for speedruns. Alright, this time we're not going to rewind it. If it's playing from the middle, it'll play from the fucking middle. Okay. Let's see what this thing says. Maybe you are supposed to rewind it. And stop. What the hell? It's just a music tape.
the hell? It's just a sex tape. Oh, uh, Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> Agony. The ag on the oh we coherent. This thing broken or something? I don't know. How did we break it? Oh, rewind it and then maybe. Right stop. Wow, I fast forward and we are on the same part of the team. Wait, no, it changed. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Egg go on D ho we. That's different. No, that was what it said before. No, that's it totally. Maybe it said. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Just playing the thing and getting me nowhere. <gasps> Wait. I have an idea. Are you ready for this? What? trying to like yeah I, I get it Kyle there we go 13 years ago a person died at Hotel Cape West that's probably the old man <laughs> I guess he sounds old, younger younger than this. yeah uh, what was his the deceased was Kate it was Kathy McGrath Oh, is that it? That's all I got. <laughs> I mean, there's probably more to that. The voice of an elderly man oh, still comes from the okay. tape. Investigation oh. voice memo. Investigation memo number 0083. That's Frank's voice, all right. The state of the fourth floor is just as it was 13 years ago. My initial sweep of the fur room 404 was where Kathy McGrath's body was found is complete. Before vacating this building, I must find the lost items connected with Condor. Kathy McGrath. That's the name of the victim from the murder 13 years ago. That's what I said. Now I know it was room 404 that her body was discovered in, too. Looks like Frank has been looking into the events of the murder that took place. But what does he mean by lost items connected with Condor? Scarlet Star? The question is, why is Frank investigating the incident from 13 years ago without wanting to jump to any conclusions? Maybe he got some sort of connection to the hotel. Hmm. I think it's time for me to get my head together. Finally! This is a long chapter. Dun, 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 dun. A lot happened. When did this even start? Uh, after returning from a walk early on December 21st, I ran into bags. I asked if I could take a look around the fourth floor, but she refused. Someone overheard my chat with Max. That person was... Dylan! Dylan! <laughs> right. <laughs> God, even in my thoughts, he's annoying. Dylan said that he'd gladly show me around the fourth floor. We, we agreed! <laughs> we agreed to meet up there at four o'clock! <laughs> Pagers started beeping, so I got Rachel on the phone. She had some new information about the murder in the hotel from 13 years ago. She revealed that the person who discovered the body was... Probably her husband, right? Michael McGrath? I believe it was Michael McGrath. No, no, it was Peter McG It was Peter Reve. No, that's not who it was. Michael McGrath was the owner of the hotel. My pager started blah 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 It was Peter Rivet yeah, because it was Marie that uh, Marie's husband that found it. Yeah. Right. We never saw his face, I don't think. We saw it in a picture. 
and the person who discovered the body was none other than Peter Rivet, who just happened to be Marie's husband. We solved like two things. Armed with the information Rachel had given me, I went to question Marie. She she talked about accusations of insurance fraud and about her husband and brother. From this chat, I learned that Mike, her brother, saw the body as well. I also learned about... A secret code. A secret code based in the hotel. Ashley raised contract details of when the power to the fourth floor will be cut. I think it was a secret code. Yeah, 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 you're right. Right. Marie let slip that the hotel staff used star as a secret code word. It was connected to the party that was thrown just prior to the closure of the hotel. After finishing my chat with her, I prepared my response to the order, and I posted it in the room 404 mailbox. I listened to Frank's tape, which I got from Tony. Wow, we skipped like the whole chapter now. Yeah. And I finally knew what Frank had been investigating. Turns out he was looking into... Kathy McGrath's murder. <clears throat> right. Frank's looking into the murder in room 404 from 13 years ago. There was a memo regarding the unsolved murder case on Frank's tape. What was the number? <laughs> I listened to the entire contents of the tape. It said something about what Frank was actually trying to find. Turns out he's investigating... Lost Island was connected to Condor. Right. The last thing recorded on Frank's tape was him saying that he's looking for lost items connected with Condor. It seems like I'm not the only one looking into the building's past. But why is Frank so focused on this, even after his retirement? Why would he still be looking into the unsolved case that happened 13 years ago? A murder 13 years ago when the disappearance of the Scarlet Star 25 years ago. There has to be some sort of connection that links the two incidents. Why do I get the feeling that my questions are just leading to more questions? Look at all those books. They're all Written by people. Martin Summer. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, I stalk your life, and <laughs> you can now read the. Uh, I am your stand. <laughs> I am now your stand. We can read about it now. All the stuff we just went through. It, like, records our fuck-ups, too. <laughs> he went to go give up, but then he came back. And then he came back. Why do we... Oh, yeah, because we broke the fucking tape. Fucking asshole. <laughs> what it's a funny, troll. It's, it's funny, too, because, like... What you a fucking you don't need troll. To you don't need to rewind it, like, at, at all. all. Damn it. It's not supposed to break it unless it's, like, already playing. Yeah. December 20th. Mysterious letter. Twenty-five years ago. Sniper Bruce. The apartment's past. Chipotle. <laughs> Chapter five. December twenty-second, nineteen eighty. Oh yeah. That's the ticket. Huh? It's the phone. I reach out for my bed and grab the receiver. Shoot myself in the head. Stop calling me. Hello? He hasn't worked at all since he, he got, got rehired. fired. Oh, yeah, he did get rehired, did he not? He got unfired. Come on, Rachel, can't you leave it for another 30 minutes or so? You just got rehired. If you really want to hear my voice, call me back later. It's probably Ed. <laughs> I'm calling it now. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Still in bed this time. What? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, it's me. Ed. So you're still sleeping, huh? Yeah, well, like was. I see. Guess this won't interest you enough to get your lazy ass out of bed anyway. Hey, hang on. I thought I'd extend the hand of friendship and give you another chance. Maybe I'll have to reconsider seeing as you can't even be bothered to get out of bed. Not quite my fucking tempo, alright? <laughs> <laughs> have a nice life, Hyde. And wait. Yeah? You're right. 
Someone who sleeps until 10 on a Monday shouldn't be given a second chance. Go on. It's just that I've been getting lazy recently. <clears throat> I need to regain my focus. I know I've got to get my act together. And what? Talk to me, Ed. What did you want to say? I want to work for you again. So just tell me what I have to do. Sell stuff, Hyde. It ain't that hard, you know? You can start with your current inventory. Try selling some to the local residents. You seriously think the people here are gonna buy this stuff? Of course they will! It's extremely hard to sell stuff to people around you. That's why I think it's the only fitting it's only fitting for you to try. Guess it helps if you're on good terms. If you manage to defy all the odds and sell some of the stuff to your neighbors, it'll give I'll give you that second chance we discussed. Oh, he's just giving us a hard challenge. I'll leave it to you which stuff to you try and sell. You've got plenty to choose from. Make successful sales to two of your neighbors, then give me a call. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay. Will do. That's all I wanted to say. Hang on, Ed. What? <laughs> I just wanted to ask you about that order sheet. I already told you, you cannot accept orders that don't go through me first. Forget about it and focus on making those sales. Rachel! Yeah, that's my line. I was last one. Oh, God. Now that's the kind of voice I'd like to be woke Oh, my God. Him. He's a black isle. Anyway, do you really think you can sell some of your goods to the people in your building? No, nope, but I'm gonna try. You gotta face facts, though. With everyone getting ready to leave this place. Chances are they're trying to deal with too many of their own problems to want to buy household goods from me. You're still in with a chance, though. Really? You think? Yes, there's always a chance of getting lucky. All you gotta do is find out just what the customer wants. If you know what you... Stupid! If you know what you've got... Oh, God. If you know you've got what they're looking for, just selling it to them should be no problem. Maybe you're right. Like I said, I'll give it a try. I'll be keeping my fingers crossing me. Me? Funny, <laughs> <laughs> where did that come from? <laughs> I'll be keeping my cross <laughs> fingers crossed for you. I'm keen to see how you do doing, Liz. Great. Hey, Kyle. I've been filming the first one <laughs> Still looking. If I can't find a place in time, maybe... Absolutely not. My space is the my own. <laughs> my, <laughs> the space in my room is already smoking for. Damn. It is. You've been cheating on me. <gasps> oh my god. Oh shit. Mila's coming home, Jess. <laughs> Mila's coming home. <laughs> oh my god. Mila's coming home! Alright, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Mila's coming home. Is she now? That sounds good. She's coming back from art college. That's so right for her. <laughs> for the winter break. <gasps> there she is. There she is. Mila uh, Waifu of the month. <laughs> I met her for the first time about a year back. It was when I found myself holed up in a joint called Hotel Dusk. A much better game. <laughs> she was in bad shape and had lost part of her memory. She got mixed up in something when she was young and had no memory of it. I spent ten years laying on a hospital bed in a deep sleep. Now she's all alone with no relatives to look after her. That's her back story. <laughs> there, I summed up the first game for you. How's she dealing with life at college? She's still not talking. <laughs> well, I can't say it's going all super smoothly, but she's not slugging all. She seems to be keeping a lot to herself, though. She says she'll rather not bother us with it. Kyle? I think she's come home to... I think she's come home so she can see you again. She gives the impression she's got things to say, and but only wants to share them with you. 
I'll let you know when she gets here. Got it. Thanks, Rachel. Something tells me we're gonna actually get to meet Rachel face to face. <gasps> that would be nah, fucking dope. There's something else I wanna ask you. Will you marry me? What is it? Can you sleep in your bed? <laughs> <laughs> I need you to check on the word condor. See if it's connected to anything special. Condor? Isn't that that, that, that planet in, in <laughs> I was gonna say that planet in Star Wars, but. Is that Endor? That might be Endor. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking watch Star Wars. I'll certainly look into it. I'll get you on the phone as soon as I even turns off. That's what I was hoping you'd say. <laughs> See, fucking turkey. <laughs> gobble, gobble. I better Gob, go. Gobble. Good luck with the sales car. Alright. Time to sell some shit. I turned the tap on. The tap? Yeah. You mean water. like? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Splash my face with the cool and refreshing water that comes out. Choosing what to wear doesn't take me too long. I'm just yeah, gonna we... wear the same fucking shit I always wear. He said that last night. Look at his shoulder blades. That fucking hunk of meat. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking hunk of failure. <laughs> Now to figure out a way to entice the other tenants to buy some of my stuff. Maybe Taking I'll just show them my back. <laughs> That's a really nice looking back. Might be a good idea to find out exactly what I've got with me. The artist definitely had a fun time drawing him. Oh yeah. And we're gonna sell some shit next time. If you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Hit that bell notification if you want to see more Last Window. And don't even fucking stop there. Watch Hotel Dusk. It's a great series. I'm really happy with it. I like all like the jokes and the hijinks that went along with the game question of the day what did you have to go door to door selling some i feel i feel like i've asked this in the other game but i don't remember i don't remember either but uh what did you have to go you sell? know I'm... the last time we played hotel that <laughs> put that in the comments I, below. I believe the last thing i went door to door doing was selling the uh idea of like voting for it wasn't like a, oh you did that that uh, canvassing yeah thing? canvassing for that uh person yeah. that person that i will not say yeah because i don't remember <laughs> yeah i'm brothers i'm maury goodbye bye-bye